So you finally decided to lay a new floor in your home. Congratulations! Now, if you don't know that much about laying a floor, worry not, I am here to help you. My name is Tom Chiron, and today I will be teaching you how to lay a new laminate floor in your home. Let's go! First thing you're gonna wanna do is to lay out some foam. The foam makes uh, the sound isolate down to your neighbors and it also makes the floor more even and softer to walk on, I think. Now here is where we will run out into our first problem, the threshold. Luckily for me, I can actually bend this one up a little bit so that I can in the end, shove a piece of the wood underneath it. This will make the flooring look seamless. Now, if you, do, if you can't do this, uh, I would suggest really taking your time to really saw and file the, the, the time that is supposed to go there so that it looks as seamless and it fits as snug against the threshold as possible. The snugger, the tighter, the better it, it will look in the end. And if you can't make it as seamless, you can always just buy a, a, a strip of wood to place uh, overneath it that matches the th threshold and it will look as good as well. With mine I will start by cutting this part off. I don't need this edge here, I want this I want to go against the other wall. Just gonna sew it right off. I'm gonna shove it up against the corner as tightly as possible and then mark that begins and where that begins. So I want it to go, it can go around, yeah, a hole, about a whole centimeter underneath the threshold, I think. We're gonna do one centimeter on this side. Whoops. So, these are the pieces we wanna cut off. This is about as seamless as it can be. See, there's a little bit of a gap there, but like, that doesn't matter. I promise it doesn't matter. So the first piece is where it needs to be. Now we take a new one, kick it into the other, the first one. In order to get it the same, we need to cut this one up about a centimeter or so. That's about as long as I can get it. Now, for the last piece, we are gonna wanna cut the edge uh, about a centimeter again, so it can fit snug against the wall with the other ones. But we don't wanna cut too much, because this piece is way too long. It will be good with around 86, because you wanna leave like a little bit. You can leave like a couple of millimeters in the corners against the wall so that the, the floorboards can move a little bit over time just a tiny little bit and down here it's 86 and a half that's because the wall is bending a little bit I love apartments so much 86 on the top we're gonna also cut a centimeter off Now, this piece, that we're, the excess piece, 
we will save for the next, lay, uh, next row of tiles. This is the hardest part, the last tile. Oh. Now you see I accidentally cut this a little bit to like there's a gap here. The good thing about those things, when the wall strip comes on, it will cover it nicely. So you don't have to worry if you cut a little bit too, too much. But try to keep it as snug as possible. It will to be on the safe side. So now that you have your first the row of tiles laid out and up against the wall. That's the hardest part. Like, that's the most annoying thing. That sets the tone of the whole room. Now what you need to do is to continue those, that technique with just laying out the tiles, cutting them to length, pushing them all together and continuing to the next row. Use your, the end pieces you cut off to start on a new row. That way you will say like, a lot of planks, almost like a whole package. Other than that, let's just lay this floor, okay? Now, about here is where our second problem occurs. The radiator and its uh, pipes down into the floor. I'm going to measure out how long this one needs to be, completely ignoring the fact that uh, these ones are here. And I will show you in just a couple of seconds. So here's the piece, it would fit there. It was with these, so I measure how for the first one is off, so seven and a half. There, and then they are. So we will cut up this piece, and we'll right back. Okay, now we have the two pieces, and this one should now, we should be able to fit into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this row of tiles. Now, I've saved the spill piece because uh, this one we're going to try and measure and cut out holes for these ones so we can just slide it in and then put a little bit of dab of super glue or some other glue around it and all we will see is like a line and that's good enough. 4.1 2.2 7.1 So there we have them Okay, let's get to cutting And let's see if I measured good I think I did, yes. So there is a million ways to do this. Some people do it a lot cleaner. I didn't this time, because it came in a certain angle and it was in the middle of the tile. It was, it's, it's, it's hard, okay? But this is fine. What I can do after the floor is done, I can go in with some silicone filler and just fill around here and it will look like a great black. Right now, I am just going to uh, set it with some super glue. Again, these things are never gonna be completely perfect. So this is good enough, okay?
here comes our last and final problem. The second radiator at the last window. Uh, first off, there is two more rows of tiles. The first one is just about enough that it, I can't squeeze it in there. So first I'm going to take this tile and just file off a little bit right there. Now we need to figure out how to do this one. And I think I have an idea. First off, we're gonna take the tiles that are closest and we're gonna saw them off. This one we need to cut off six. So it's six and a half. I'm going to do the same thing as before with the square. So let's mark there, 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 there. That's what I think. They are about 1.2.2. 2.2. Oh, two. Two two. They're a little bit different. Do three centimeters. That's good enough for both of them. There, there. I'm just gonna. So let's cut out this. Again, this is fine. You can put some cover over it, you can put some silicone or uh, in there with some color with gray and it will mix well, but like this is fine. The curtains will cover this anyways. So let's put the last high sink. And there, your new floor is done! If you found this somewhat helpful, then please smash that like button and unsub subscribe in the description below. My name is Tom Chiron and thank you so much for doing this watching.